Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my weekly vlog. Got all my latest thrift store finds washed. I use Goo Gone for anything that I buy at the indoor yard sale. They use these type of um, stickers here, and they are hard, hard, hard to get off. The SPCA uses the pink stickers you see there, and those come off so easy. Um, but the indoor yard sale, oh my gosh, those tags are a mess to get off. For family lunch, ran up to a church's chicken, got an eight-piece chicken, dark meat, some jalapenos, oh, french fries, you don't get too many french fries, and four honey butter biscuits, stopped at Sonic and got a crisp Coke. Chicken, I love a dark meat chicken. Legs are my favorite. Lunch. Goodness, guys, I was inside trying to figure out what I was going to wear to church, and I heard all the clattering and going on. Sheesh. This winds and got my roof kicked up again. All the little um, roof panels are loose. sure hope this rain clears out the last thing we needed was more rain the yards have just dried out enough that we were able to get them cut also hope the rain clears out so i can get to church without getting drenched this morning happy to share with you my sunday outfit of the day just have on this really cute sundress uh, is this called a handkerchief style down here on the bottom i'm not sure my blue sandals that I picked up at Ross this year. A lot of butterflies on this little dress. I've had it forever. It's nothing new, but I do think this is probably the first time I've shared it with y'all. Picked this up at JCPenney's quite a number of years ago. I have on James Avery jewelry. I didn't put on a necklace because the um, neckline is so um, high. Actually, I do have a butterfly, James Avery, but I don't think it would look good. So, it's probably not going to wear a uh, necklace with this outfit. Anyway, that's it. It's still raining outside, but I prayed the rain away so that I could get to church without As getting I told y'all, prayed the rain away, and God hears our prayers even for the small things. If it's sprinkling or it's just dripping, I'm not sure, but... Um, it's it's a long ways from where it was because it was really raining and just a bit ago. <laughs> she got the zoomies, guys. She's running. There she goes again. Let's see if she'll come back. Here she comes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh oh. She must have crashed in the. She going again. She got her second wind. Look at her. Oh, she loves a little lamb chop. There's her big lamb chop. Sounds like she's bringing her other. Here she comes. Oh, 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 crash. <laughs> she crashed into the tripod. <laughs> Third wind. She's going again. There, there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Dogs are hilarious. She can barely breathe. She's over there panting and carrying on. She can't decide which lamb chop she wants. Today I made me a little pizza, a little personal size pizza using some dough that we picked up at Kroger. Uh, we had a family pizza night and I got this fresh dough from Kroger. Just added, of course, some, you know, pizza sauce and some ham and some cheese, a little bit of garlic and Italian seasoning perfect little pizza you can get two of these little pizzas out of one bag of dough the the dough was less than four dollars um 
And like I say, you can either make one big pizza or two small ones. A fun evening event. Everybody had their own toppings they could use and uh, build your own pizza. Here's my little pizza. So delicious. What I didn't mention is that we did get the dough in the deli section. We actually had to ask somebody and they have them in the freezer. Like not in the freezer where you can access them. They had to go to the back room and get them. Hello, how are you? How are you? Doing good. Hello, how are you? I did a little walk up intro, but I guess I didn't hit record. So literally, my walk-up intro is me walking up to the building. Oh my goodness, how does that even happen? It happens actually more times than not that I think I've hit the record button. I've said my little spiel, and uh, when I go to turn the camera off, I'm actually turning the camera on. I'm sporting these fun glasses. They just got all this numbed up. <sighs> I ain't had to have a procedure done like this in a, a lot of years. Eight room change. Um, a little bit of a problem with the water machine. So, here we are. No fun, guys. Ugh. I survived the crown. Didn't need a root canal, which is amazing. And, um, yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Got my temporary crown put in. And they'll call me in a couple of weeks when my... Permanent crown comes in. It's family night. <laughs> we have a whole lot going on this evening, guys. I'm hearing a plane flying over. I wonder what they're doing. Hey, had barbecued Vianney weenies before. I'm a little I'm a little nervous to try them, but I do have some of these El Sabroso corn chips. Hopefully they're not still. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, I'll let y'all know how these taste. I did have the Vianney weenies for lunch. It does say two servings, but let's just be honest. That's not enough. Um, to fill me up and I have to have some tide me over till I get home They were a little salty um, I don't think I would repurchase them, but they weren't the worst. They would be all right in a pinch I wouldn't want to eat them every day, but every once in a while She's trying to get her favorite treats She loves them things They're good girl Pop Good girl. Nope. High five. Good girl. She knows tricks too. She's so smart. What are her favorite treats? Zombie Blitz by, I don't know, B O C C E apostrophe S. They're peanut butter, pumpkin, and how do you say that word? Carb, carabob. Carabob? Car, carabob? Carabob? Car, carob. I don't know how you say know. that, but anyway, she loves them. Today is Friday, August the 9th, and it is yard work day. The grass is really tall. You can tell here by looking back at the porch. And I want to be able to start working on getting the porch back together. I'm covered in off. The mosquitoes are horrible, and it's already hot. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning, if I didn't say, but just want to stay home today and see what all I can get done. This is the third load from the ditch of all these little sticks that are too small for the picker truck to pick up and too big for me to run over with the lawnmower. I have all of this area done. And if you were wondering how I was going to operate the lawnmower, this is how we got to do it. Got to use the lawnmower like a wheelbarrow sometimes. We got the yard all mowed earlier. Ooh, it was so hot guys I had to come straight in and get a bath didn't even get the backyard done but what really tuckered me out was the ditch because there's no shade over here and I had to rake this and pick it all up it was so much leaves and sticks and thick branches but I got it all done 
And now I'm back here in the backyard. I just wanted to share with you all these trees. I kind of feel like I probably did after the hurricane, but this tree right here, massive tree. This is probably the biggest one that I had on my property. This was a grafted tree, one that my dad grafted. And when it fell down, it took out another grafted tree, which is on my um, daughter's dad's property. So you can see it landed right in the, in the center of that tree and it just keeps going. It's huge. And when it took that tree down, this tree also came down, which is another really big one. And it was a grafted tree as well. Um, so three grafted trees here on this side of the property that got taken down. These trees are in another neighbor's property. He has five acres back here. So here's two more trees. I don't know anything about those trees, if they're pecan or, or what they are, but here's the other end of that massive tree that I was just sharing with you. You can see the tree start there all the way to the tippy end down there. Huge, massive tree that came down. This was one of the ones we were counting on for pecans this year because it didn't have pecans last year and we thought for sure it would have a big crop this year, but unfortunately we lost it. I'm getting some thunder here, I'm trying to get this backyard cut before the rains come. Didn't really show any rain in the forecast, but we've been hearing a lot of thundering going on. A little on. bit more footage of the backyard, the mess over there is where I was at just a little bit ago. This is another tree that came down, more limbs that came down because I have so many limbs that are just hanging. So they're just cutting loose at different times. Look at this tree, guys. This is crazy. So much broken limbs off of there. This one too, such, such a mess. This is the top part of the tree that took out the corner of my neighbor's little lean-to garage. This is the top of it. It was a pretty big tree. I'm not sure what kind it was. It wasn't anything too significant. All this mess. Mess, mess, mess. Here's the bottom part of that tree. See, it wasn't a very substantial tree. This is the one that they wanted to charge me $1,500 to take down that. And then over there is the rest of it. And right here is where it took down my neighbor's little lean-to. Anyway, guys, in spite of all the mess, you can see more limbs hanging that is a very special tree. That one has a two different grafted pecans on it. And uh, we got quite a lot of pecans off of it this past year. A little airplane flying by. Anyway, this one is a, a double grafted pecan tree. It didn't sustain a whole lot of damage, but it does have some limbs hanging low. I was gonna try to zoom in for y'all, but I don't know I can't but yeah I got the grass mowed it's my first time mowing the grass in a while my garage door broke and um, but my daughter was here she was able to help me get it open and we propped it up and I was able to get the John Deere out and get the yard mowed myself my neighbor's been helping me with the with the yard until we can get that garage door fixed Here's what I was telling you, my garage door broke. Uh, gee will curse. Anyway, we'll get to it someday. I had to prop it up. Today he's making a hitch cover for our youngest daughter's truck. He's facing to weld it and get it all ready. He goes, guys, he is a welder by trade and he makes some pretty cool things. You'll get it all shined up and all the things make it look beautiful. I'm going to take another uh, video 
of it once it gets finished. Chit chat time. So I wanted to show y'all the trailer hitch that my daughter's dad made for her. There it is. He painted it for her and got it all shined up and pretty for her truck. Love it. It's awesome. She's going to love it. Going to absolutely love that. So we'll get that in the mail to her. And um, yeah, she can put it on her truck. This week has been a week full of life. <laughs> uh, so, um, so my daughter and grand dog came to stay with me they haven't been back in their house since the hurricane they had damage to their home and their home is now ready for them to um, start cleaning up and get ready to be back in their home they had been staying at several towns over with the in-laws and um, they decided it would be better to come to my house because i live just around the house right around the corner from their home. So they've been with me for a week. So you saw some interaction there with my daughter and my granddaughter and the fur baby. And uh, so we've just had a lot of fun um, this past week. We had some family time, family dinner. We did church's chicken. Um, the, the clip that you saw my daughter was singing. Um, she had cooked sloppy joes you know what's what's not to like about a sloppy joe evening oh my gosh we don't have them very often but when we do i really enjoy a good sloppy joe so we had that um let's see oh those vaini weenies that i shared with y'all mm, they weren't the worst but i don't think i'll buy them again they were a little different i don't mind a vaini weenie for one thing, it has to be an Armour Vaini Weenie. I'm not eating Libby or any other brand. Armour Vaini Weenies, and um, I'll just take it plain next time. I think those must have been at the Dollar Tree, and I picked one up to try it. It wouldn't be bad if you were in a situation where, you know, you needed to, to you were in an emergency situation. It wouldn't be too bad. It's just nothing I, I don't think I would really enjoy. Um, What else? Um... I'm looking at my notes for my video. <sighs> this plained face. Oh my gosh, guys. So yesterday, I'm filming this chit chat on Saturday, which Saturday is usually the day that I put up my vlogs. But I have been outside trying desperately to get my house back in order for the things that I can control. There's other things that I have to wait for other people or, you know, for the insurance and that. But there's some things that I can do myself. And uh, so I've been outside working. Y'all saw me working in the yard, getting it um, cleaned up. And then uh, I think I said in the video that I was going to start on the porch. Absolutely did not get started on the porch. It is literally severe weather warnings this weekend because the temperatures are so high and um so just the front yard really cooked me um doing the ditch about did me in honestly if i had just needed to cut the grass i would have been fine because you're on the mower you're moving a lot of the yard shaded but that ditch was in the sun and um it was just a lot i'm not um really used to being in the sun my job doesn't require me to be in the sun and um, most of my yard work I try to do in the spring so that during the summer, during the hot months, all I'm doing is basically maintaining what I have put together. But since the hurricane, of course, everything that I did in the spring, um, I like the porch in that, I'm having to uh, redo. And um, so I did the yard work yesterday. And then today is when I have done the porch. So that today's porch stuff will be on next Saturday's vlog and I worked outside for about seven hours today I am pooped but I wanted to um hop in although you know I'm plain face I just gotten out of the shower I really don't have any product in my hair um but I did want to pop in and close out this video and do the chit chat because tomorrow I plan to be back outside um, working more on the porch. So I just thought this would be the best opportunity that I had to film the chit chat with y'all. And I don't want a video to go by that I don't get to chit chat with my, my, with my sweet friends on here. 
So that is what we've been doing, or that's what I've been doing. I've been keeping the grand fur baby so that my daughter can be down at her house getting it cleaned up. I'm gonna say they had some damage from the hurricane, and so their house needs to be cleaned on the inside before she takes the fur baby down there um, to to be with them. So she's been staying here, and um, I've been keeping her and been outside working. So she has a kennel, keep her in the kennel. But of course, um, when I come in to take a break, she's crying. It makes me feel guilty, but I know she has to stay in there because she's just a baby and now we don't want her to get hurt. That is it, guys. That is all for Chit Chat today. This is awesome. I love this when he makes cool things. This is um, the different sizes that you can have it hanging out um my daughter has a lock for it so nobody can steal it from her and it's just awesome i know she loves anything that is texas and uh no matter what state or what country or whatever she is definitely representing a texas wherever she goes and um she's going to love that that is it guys that is all for this week's video i hope you have enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed spending a little bit of time with me throughout the week. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.